What is up ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to be going over how to take on the Kael'thas encounter within Tempest Keep. This guy's technically the final boss within the instance, but if you'd like to just farm for the mount, you can just go straight to him. You don't have to kill the other bosses or anything like that. Now, as you can see, I'm starting off the fight by bringing the advisors to the opposite side of the room of where they spawn. The main point of this is to ensure that I have enough breathing room come phase 3. Even with high amounts of gear, I can still get RNG'd, I can still wipe on this fight. So if you're having any issues whatsoever with getting these down, I definitely recommend bringing the advisors onto the other side of the room. Like I said, RNG can be a big issue, especially concerning conflagration and uh, remote toy, which come from the mage and the engineer. These first two them killing, not really a big deal. The first guy that I killed, he moves fairly slowly, so you won't have to deal with him right away. Fear guy, he comes up pretty quickly, but again, not a huge issue to deal with him. Now, this lady coming up right here, she is a big pain in the butt as a melee. During this phase of the fight, you'll want to get on the opposite side of her from where you start right there. Try to get on the side of her that faces the stage so that if she does knock you back, you're at least knocked back and slowed into the general direction towards the engineer. Your main goal for phase one is to make sure you kill the engineer without getting a toy. You can get through phase two with a toy on, but it makes things very difficult and very frustrating. The second phase is fairly simplistic as enhanced. What you're going to want to do is target the cosmic infuser, kill it, interrupt its heal, and then AoE the piss out of everything else. Now, as a staff user, especially if you're under the effect of toy, you're going to want to take out the staff first. Uh, once the staff is dead, you're going to want to pick it up, equip it, open up your character sheet, right-click on it so you get the buff, and then you can move on to the Cosmic Infuser. And if you're a caster, you're going to want to take out the shield. Once you've taken out those three initial weapons as a caster or as a staff user, you should be able to take down everything else without any issue. Now, there's a couple of different ways to take on phase 3. If you don't have a staff, what you're going to want to do is either take out the engineer or the mage very, very quickly. If you don't and you end up getting CC'd by both of those, chaos is going to ensue, your health pool is probably going to bottom out, and chances are you'll possibly wipe. So what I do is I take out the engineer since he's right there, then do my best to try to take out the mage before she gets a con flag off. Obviously in this video here, you can see that I didn't quite manage that, but she goes down without a problem, and then I go on to take out the last two mobs. Now, if you have a staff, you really don't have to worry about either of those things. I usually take out the engineer on my casters anyways, just because he's right there. And then I usually try to take out either the mage or Thaladred, the dude who knocks you back, just because he's a real pain in the ass and he silences. Other than that, that phase goes by fairly quickly if you manage to get them down before CCs go out. In phase 4 you get to engage Kael'thas himself. This is fairly simplistic here. Uh, you're gonna want to burn him down at 50% health, he transitions. Now, during this phase he will spawn Phoenix Adds. Phoenix Adds, they will eventually kill themselves, though you'll want to burn them down and then kill their eggs afterwards just to get them out of the way. They're unnecessary damage. Now, he will on occasion put a shield on himself. When he has the shield, just burn him in as hard as you can. It's only an 80k shield. Once the shield falls off, you're going to want to interrupt his pyroblast. It still kind of really hurts at 90. It's not a huge deal if you can't, but it's definitely advised. Now, if you have pets, don't use them during this phase. You will get mind controlled. Um, hunters, if you need to line of sight your pets, go ahead and do that with one of the pillars. In Warlocks, I definitely recommend taking Grimoire of Sacrifice just for this particular fight. This final phase is pretty straightforward. The only thing you're really going to have to worry about is the Nether Vapor during the Gravity Lapse phase. That's when you're swimming around. If you come into contact with these balls, they'll put a debuff on you, which will lower your general health pool. Which, at first, isn't a huge deal, but once your health pool starts getting really, really tiny, his spells kind of hit really hard, so you want to avoid that at all costs. If you can pull off this phase just fine, you know, no big mishaps with spells, you should have yourself a kill. And that about covers us. Hopefully this guide has helped some of you who may have been struggling to solo this guy a little bit. If you've got any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to drop them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to try to help you out. And that's it for this guide. Good luck. Have fun.